In this tutorial, we take our licorice stick one step further and we make a beanstalk. And just to show you what our beanstalk looks like in our scene, which you still have a lot of control over, you can see it right over here, it goes quite high. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know that you watched it. And if you didn't like it, let me know as well. Cheers, man. Bye. All right, step number one, select your default cube, press numpad one, be in front orthographic view, press G to grab, Z on the Z axis and press one. There we go, it's perfectly on the line, exactly where we want it. Then press tab, go into edit mode and press three to choose face select, choose this top face, press one, and then press G to grab it, Z to lock it to the Z axis and type in one four, that's 14. Then press your modify properties, add modify, and we're gonna make use of a mirror modifier. And we're gonna press shift A, or press tab, go into object mode for a second, press shift A, and use an empty. We'll use a plane axis. Once you've done that, select this. With your mirror modifier, select the empty. And I believe we need to choose the Z axis. There we go. Everything but the z-axis must be turned on. I mean, only the z-axis must be turned on. That's looking perfect. Next thing you probably want to do is add a subdivision surface modifier. Track it in here and put this on at least four for both the viewport and the render. Then press tab, go into edit mode, press control R, create a loop cut and just bring this up like this. And it automatically perfectly matches at the bottom as well. And that's looking pretty grand. Okay, I'm quite happy with this so far. We will do a lot more to this, but let's press numpad seven to be in top orthographic view. And I am gonna press right click shade smooth. There we go. And then I'm gonna press G and I'm gonna chuck this over here. I'm gonna press shift D to duplicate this. I'm gonna chuck this over here. I'm gonna press shift D to duplicate this and I'm gonna chuck this over here. And if I did this correctly, G, Z, maybe a little bit more, sorry, G, Y, perhaps just a little bit further so they, you know, somewhat equally apart, almost equally apart. Okay, cool. I'm quite happy with that. Now select all three of these objects, hold and shift. There we go. Don't select the empty. And once you've got all three objects selected, press control J to join them. Now they are one, solid object then right click set origin to origin to geometry there we go quite happy with that and on your mirror modifier make sure you got merge turned on and what happens if we ramp this up let's make this 0 0.1 0 0.001 ah it's still fine that's perfect okay cool we'll get to that now let's just minimize what we're not using let's add a new modifier and this time we're going to make use of a screw modifier no not the screw modifier i do apologize we want to use the def simple deform modifier there we go and we want to use twist and we're going to make it 360 and we're going to choose the z-axis and just like that we've got a perfect twist which I'm quite happy about and you could ramp it up you might say 720 let's double it or you might say double that 720 1440 it's a bit too much I'm gonna leave it on 720 so it still somewhat looks like licorice cool so I'm quite happy with that the next thing I want to do just for fun really which is going overkill is I want to press tab go into edit mode press 3 to choose face select and press numpad 1 quickly and just select all of this actually I'm going to choose edge select and I'm going to select all of this turn on x-ray mode there everything is selected that's looking good numpad 1 and I'm going to stretch this out quite a bit. I'm going to go G, Z, and I'm going to go 20. Tab, 
object mode. Looking at this, we could probably increase the simple deform to 1440 and turn off X-ray. Yep, that's still looking pretty good and I'm quite happy with that. Now we can select this and we can press G. Chuck this over here, Shift D and press X. Chuck this over here, Shift D and chuck this somewhere like that. Now that we've got these three objects selected, we select them all and we press Control J to join them. But before we do, we actually have to apply this. But before we apply this, I want to add one more subdivision surface just to, at the very end to clear out any kinks. And I'm quite happy with that. And now we just go and apply everything. Now with everything applied, we select all three, control J. Oh, pardon me, I have to apply to each individual one. Also have to add that subdivision surface so it's on the same level. Apply, do the same, yeah. Add the subdivision surface. Make sure it's the same level as the other two and just apply. Here we go. We're getting there slowly but surely. Right, so I believe all three of them, all the modifiers have been applied. Now we can select all of this, Control J. Now they're one object. Now we can add modifier and we're going to use a simple deform modifier. We're going to make it twist. We're going to press Z axis and we're going to make it Let's try 360. Let's press numpad 1. Not quite the look I'm going for. Let's ramp this up to 1440. Not quite the look I'm going for. Let's ramp it up to 2880. There we go. And just to see if it makes any difference if I select the empty. Perfect. And we have it. We finally created a beautiful beanstalk from a licorice bar. I hope you enjoyed this crazy tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Now that we've got our beanstalk, I just thought I'd show you how it looks in, in the scene. It's crazy looking. And of course, because of the way we designed this, we can, we, it's non-destructive to a degree. Like we could say, you know what, let's make this 1440. And just like that, you've got a beanstalk that might be more interesting. In fact, all of a sudden, I prefer this. Anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.